Hey guys, what is going on? In this video, Anthony and I are both going to explain the exact ad format we use for all of our winning products. Stay tuned. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time visiting Ecom Street, guys, welcome to the video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as this is the best way to find out when we post a new video. Again, if this is not your first time here and you're returning watching us again, guys, thank you so much. We really do appreciate you and we hope that this video brings you a lot of value. So to start, let's cover exactly what we mean by ad creatives. All we mean is the video, picture, GIF, whatever it is that you're using to advertise your product. So in most cases for dropshipping, it is rather a picture or video. A lot of videos do very well, of course, for dropshipping stores. And so specifically for videos, I wanna cover how all of my ads are structured to actually get an audience's attention, watch the whole video or part of it, click through the website, and of course, in the ideal world, make a purchase. How is this done? How do I use buyer psychology for impulse purchases to make things happen for my store. Number one guys, it comes down to hooking your audience's attention. Guys, people are scrolling on their phones, on their desktops, whatever it may be, you know, using Facebook, using Instagram, whatever it may be. You need to capture their attention. The, the default kind of action they're doing is just straight scrolling. That's all they're doing. They don't really care to stop unless they're interested. So if they're scrolling and they see a friend or a family member that they like or a famous celebrity they like, then they'll stop and check it out. So when they see an ad, if that ad isn't relevant, eye-catching, and of course, you know, just keeps them hooked into what's next, then your business will go nowhere. So what do we do now? You have a product, you know, your product page is set up, your site looks great, everything's awesome, there's tons of content on YouTube and Facebook for your item. How do you start it off? This is the format I use. Again, it's going to be different for everyone. There's so many different creatives and the way you can do this. Like, There's no correct way to do marketing. Of course, you can teach it, learn it, whatever it is, but there is no correct way to do it. It all comes down to creativity and, of course, using what works. So number one, what I always do almost all the time is start off with some kind of hook, whether it be a question or someone doing something incorrectly with a corrected way of doing it, whatever it may be, some kind of before and after, of course. Anything like that is a hook, okay? This is going to keep them interested in what's next. Then I show them who exactly we are before I continue at all. So I'll say introducing this or welcome to this. Whatever it is, whatever the item is or store is, I'll say this, this, that, welcome. After that, I throw in a quick few features, but it's not the boring features. So I don't say, oh, we're some awesome brand with this and that. I really dig deep and do my research first, of course, on Google of who you know my main customers are and what issues they might have. So for example, if I'm selling that posture corrector, I'll say, you know, introducing this posture corrector and then a quick transition to, you know, the simple solution for fixing poor posture, back pain, so on and so forth. If you sit at a desk all day, if you you know, work in an office, if you exercise often, chances are you have bad posture, this is for you. Then I'll go through some quick features, so I'll say, you know, adjustable strap or whatever it may have, I'm not even sure what it has, but you get the point, we'll go through all of that. And then of course, after about 30 to 45 seconds, which I believe is an ideal time, no longer than 45, no shorter than maybe 20 seconds, somewhere between there, end that video with a call to action. So again, this is all super in a nutshell for you guys, but you know, so the, the call to action will go somewhat like, you know, shop now, get half off, click the link below, you know, shop now. And that's the objective, right? We don't want them just watch the video and leave. We don't want them to just check things out. We want them to actually shop now, come to our website, and take a valuable action, which is usually purchase. You can master what I'm saying right now and understand it, but it really comes down to actually, you know, of course, taking that action and making your first couple video ads in order to actually see how this works. Your first couple times is going to be super hard, but as long as you remember to hook your audience's attention with some kind of hook, so either you ask them a question or show them some kind of, you know, dramatic dramatization of how the item works or so on and so forth, just saying like, this item, you know, fixes back posture, so on and so forth. As long as you use something like that, you're super transparent, you have like your branded feeling there, so you have your brand's name, the logo there, of course, keeping it authentic, and then a nice call to action that smooths everything in, 
Your audience is going to like it. They're going to watch the ad and make a valuable action on your website. Next, Anthony's going to talk about more of the ad creative regarding the thumbnail, the actual, of course, like the creative caption, so on and so forth, the text, and how to actually tie this all in. Because you can have an amazing video ad, but if your thumbnail is trash, if your creative is trash, like the actual caption, there's no use of it all. So stay tuned. This next part of the video is super valuable. If you're enjoying so far, leave a like, and we'll see you soon. All right, guys. Um, so now what I'm going to do is actually do an in-depth creative analysis, like an ad creative analysis. And I'm going to put the ad that I've used on the screen before. This wasn't uh, a product that I was selling for a very long time, actually. And I just felt like that this creative would be a perfect example because the product I was running, like the specific product, um, was it had very high quality photos. So I was able to make everything look super nice. And that's why you can see in this creative, what I'm about to show you looks pretty cool. So first things first here, the headline is what Corey was talking about before, the hooking, the hooking, the hook of your ad. Basically everything that he mentioned before is going to follow the same structure as your creative. Okay. And now as you can see, the number one thing that here that we have on the top is a perfect measurement every time. Okay. And now what this product was, it was a drill punch locator. Basically what this product would do guys, it was for, a, it was a home improvement product. It was a tool. And you could align your, I guess, your drill bits properly. So like if you have to measure something, you could accurately just drill holes into whatever you're trying to work on. And it was a very popular product for a long time in the home improvement niche. So hence the first headline that when I put the first caption, the first thing at the top, a perfect measurement every time, that is essentially what the product does, but it's also an engaging headline too, because someone's thinking a perfect measurement every time, like that's possible. Wow. Like that's like already relieving something off their shoulders because they understand like how sometimes it can be stressful to get measurements and it can take a long time. So right away kind of just outlines kind of a pain or a stress that a customer may have. So that's the first thing. And then we have underneath kind of some more benefits like precise drilling and no more remeasuring. So again, you have uh, what the, uh, what the product does and what it uh, is used for. So precise drilling, meaning, accurate drilling so you don't have to screw up. It's really straight to the point and no more remeasuring and people know how much, people know that measuring can be a hassle sometimes, especially remeasuring um, a whole product, say you measured something and then now you took all the right, wrong measurements. So now you have a product that gets rid of all those pains um, and measures it properly for you so you don't have to do it again. And then at the bottom, it's just get yours here with the link. So it's not a crazy ad guys. There's not a lot of text. There's not a lot of emojis. It's just a simple check mark at the top left there with the headline and your headline is always something that's a question or something that's engaging or something that tells a customer um, a statement. Like I said here, a perfect measurement every time and precise drilling, no more remeasuring, get yours here. Very, very simple and straight to the point. Um, I can also show you guys another one. So the next one I have here is, is very similar um, in the home improvement niche. It is a tool and simple again, guys, I've been using these creatives for the last like two years, like the way I've been structuring my ad. And it's very, very simple. Like I said, again, the hooks at the top, cut through drywall and wood in seconds. Now what this product was, it was a drywall cutter. So you'd have your drywall and you can cut it into halves. You can cut it into like different slices. Uh, a lot of um, these products were used for, I guess you could say like contractors or people that just used or put up drywall. And it's a very handy product that's been sold uh, for a long time. And again, pain points are, or put at the top here, cut through drywall and wood in seconds. Now people thinking, oh my gosh, you could do that. Like cutting drywall kind of takes a long time. Like you have to like get the proper tools for that. Well, now this tool does it in a couple seconds. Like you could literally have nice drywall cuts anytime. So again, pain is relieved right there. And then at the bottom is kind of what the product does. So it gets the job done faster and easier. And that's kind of what the product is. Like that's the selling point of the product. Um, and that's generally, like I said, always the second line is what the benefit is and what you're selling it as. And then again, grab yours here is the link. I just put grab yours here with the arrow uh, with my website. I'm gonna blur that out obviously. And then again, guys, your shop now button will be just at the bottom. But that's basically it guys. I mean, there's nothing too crazy about these ads. There's, like I've said before, there's no emojis. There's no, um, I guess you could say, there's no like, a, there's, not, there's not a lot of text in these ads. They're very simple. And those are the best kind of ads too. And if you guys notice too, there's no uh, sale uh, text. It's nothing that says like 50% off. There's nothing that says like buy now. It just says get yours here because a lot of people are used to seeing ads that are kind of in their face and just, you know, they're being sold to. People don't like being sold to. We've talked about this before. People don't like the fact that they're being sold to on this platform. They want to enjoy their time while they're looking at stuff with their friends and all that, blah, 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 right? So, 
to have an ad that kind of looks like a post and to not be super direct with them kind of gives them a chance to, okay, like, let me see what this product is. And then that's where your, your landing page is essentially being directed and assertive to, right? You want to sell people on your landing page. That's the whole point, right? Try to sell people too much on the creative from the first platform. Like obviously, yes, you want people to click on your website. That's the whole goal. But again, your landing page should be the most powerful statement of what you're trying to come across. Okay. So remember you have your ad first, don't make it too, too direct. Obviously have your headlines, have your pain points, have your selling points, and then your link. And then after that, when you get into your landing page, you can do insane stuff. You can just sell them like crazy, be an awesome persuader, an awesome marketer, and just tell them why they need a product on an emotional basis or why they need a product for financial reasons, whatever the case may be to lighten up their day or to whatever you're trying to come across is like what I'm saying. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's basically a, um, great way to structure your ads and there's no right or wrong way you can do different things as well i'm not saying that this way is the right way um there's thousands of different ways you can do this you can even what i've done true too is not even put a link at all in the ad um like just the shop now button and then so you can write more about the product and a lot of people have actually tried different things they try putting the get yours link at the bottom so that encourages someone to read more and then as they're reading more it counts as a click so i guess you could retarget the people like clicking on your ad or whatever um but there's different things you can choose it's all about split testing but then that but then again guys you guys can test different creators you can test different angles different marketing angles as well especially with this whole thing going on with the coronavirus now you want to sell products that people are going to be using in their home because people are going to be inside a lot most of the times so if you can find something that appeals to everyone in that niche and it kind of revolves around your house that'd be pretty cool because now everyone's gonna have a chance to use it and people are gonna be shopping like crazy so we hope you enjoyed this video guys if you guys have any questions like always feel free to ask us and we will see you guys in the next video